How long do you think Maximum Huge will last? Um, I, I'm, t I'm tending to be the first opener, and I'm trying not to be. Do you want someone else to do? Go, Jay. Uh, I don't really. Um, that's something I don't really ask myself. But I mean, um, I think ideally, if we try to at least put out a lot of stuff consistently for a year. That would be a really, really good accomplishment on our part. If we just made something like every week for like 12 months. 52, at least 52 yeah. things. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want it to end there, but um, I that that's that's my goal right now. If I was going to put like a like any kind of like time period or cutoff date, or at least a point to be like like if once we get to this point in time re-examine what we're doing, see how far we've come, what can we do more to improve ourselves, that would be, I guess, the cutoff point for that. Not necessarily to say that we would stop, but that would be the point where I'd be like, okay, this is a good enough, um, or what's called, a landmark or, you know, whatever. Milestone. milestone yeah, milestone that, that you could have, like, a, a solid, um, perspective on what we've done and what we plan to do in the future. Well, I think Maximum Huge may evolve over time. Mm -hmm. um, I do think it will be existing in a year. That's just me thinking mm -hmm. a year from now. We'll probably be doing something. Um, I will have another kid, which will change some stuff. Um, Maybe just a little. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but I think the faces will change. I think we'll have more people or different people. Um, I think people with success and with changes of interests will just have, it's a, it's an evolving group and um, I hope everybody's, yeah, I hope it's a growing group rather than just shrinking. Um, so uh, I, I don't want to put it like, oh, five years, we're done for, <laughs> or more, six months. Um, the fatalist in me says six months, of course, but I don't really think that's... It's, I'm surprised, not surprised, but it's neat to me that we're even still doing this after how it started, like, whenever we first started it. I remember it being, like, something we thought would be cool, and it. I think it took a little while to actually turn into something we would actually do and commit to. And it's be getting consistent. close to a year right now. It's September. I mean, that's right about when we started November. talking. When did we start... It was October, and a little bit was, uh, it was the beginning of October when we started writing stuff. Wow. So. Yeah. So, it hasn't been a year for me, though. I, well, I mean, you've been, you were kind of a consultant. I was, I was around, y'all would come over and, I think, get that ring, like one of the first times you performed, get that ring was in my kitchen. Yeah. So. Gotta get that ring. Which, yeah. they don't even know, they haven't heard that song. Yeah. Um. Yeah goes, ooh, gotta get that ring. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was, yeah, we were, uh, I wrote that when the Rangers were in the, um, were they in the World Series when that was written? Yeah. And by the way, it is it is on SoundCloud. So if you want to check that out, you can check that song out. Um, let's go to uh, yep, your, your hypothesis. Right now, my personally, my goal is like, I want us to get to 100 videos. Like, I, I want to, I just, what's cool about making, like, YouTube videos and stuff is you can do it, like, as much as you want, and it's, it's something you can just keep on doing, and it's, I don't know, it's just a cool time we live in where we can, like, uh, be creative like that and share like that, and it's, it doesn't really cost a lot of money. And yeah. People can hate on us all they want, but they can't stop us. Yeah, doing what we want. <laughs> and I, 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 yeah, I, I just, I feel like it's been a pos a really positive thing. And uh, like, I'll, I'll often be like, "Why are we doing this? What is, <laughs> what is the point of this?" Blah, blah, blah. And then, <laughs> usually, it's like, it's just fun, you know. Like, it's just cool to get to do it, and it's, it's really not that hard, and it feels like a good experience that. I think a lot of us, if we weren't doing Maximum Huge, we'd probably just be 
playing sitting in our games. room doing like watching playing Netflix video games. That's all I would be. Talking. Oh, okay. What are some of the challenges the group has run into? Uh, I'd say probably our biggest hurdle is time scheduling. Uh, we are seven grown men, uh, some with families. Um, One with family. Matthew. Oh yeah, Matthew. Uh, I have a family, Matthew has a family Actually, Ronnie um, yeah, yeah. So, like it, It's it's kind of difficult to To schedule people who are doing this Just for fun, for just passions Of creating things It's kind of hard to say, like, hey you, you need to be here at this time, this time, this time And, like, set it up And I think that's difficult Like, we, like, the, today We wanted to create one of our queued Um Creations or something we've written, and it just didn't work out with Labor Day and family stuff. So, yeah. Hey, you guys disagree? You have a different one? Um, well, time is obvious one. I would just say budget and inexperience. <laughs> like, uh, I know one of the things we're working on involves a green screen, and uh, we're really just trying to figure out how that works and how to make it look good. And, I mean, if ideally we would just rent out a warehouse somewhere and have, like, a giant green tarp, and that way we could film stuff any way we wanted to, but instead, um, there might be pictures of this online already, I think, on your blog. Yeah. It's well, just, it's our blog. Maximum Huge. Maximum Huge blog. Yeah, it's just in my garage, and we have, like, this little green bed sheet thing that we're working with. And uh, it's not exactly professional, but we're trying our best to make it look that. I way. think it looks good. So, I mean, from what I, what I worked with, it isn't mm-hmm. it isn't necessarily like something that'd be on HDTV going like, mm-hmm. "Whoa, that's awesome!" It's more of like, "Yeah, hey, that works for where we're at." Yeah. Uh, um, ch- one challenge I thought what I thought of was um, a we uh when we're writing like scripts and stuff like that, we realize, like, none of us are really, like, actors, so it's, like, kind of a challenge, like, to try to, we're, like, we want to write these characters, but then it's, like, yeah. everything's really basically us, or something, or, it's a bunch well, of it's not always, sometimes it's, like, a really disgusting version of, our, of some person that we're, like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. But, uh, Somehow I have been the person to be volunteered as a girl in pretty much every skit. You volunteered yourself, though. I know, but people are like, hey, we need a girl. VJ. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm willing to do that. It's, <laughs> I wouldn't call it a volunteer. Uh, we do I, need girls and uh, people of other ethnicities. So We're just a bunch of white guys. Yeah, that is a very <laughs> big hurdle. We're not diverse. Yeah. We don't know how much, like, range we have as performers, so we want to... So that's something I think we want to, like, yeah. learn more about. I was like, maybe we should take a acting class or read some acting books or something. Yeah, I know my my uh, capabilities as an actor are not very, you know, polished at this point, so I've resorted to using my hand in a couple of the videos. Diedrich. Diedrich. Uh, right here. It's kind of... There we go. That's <laughs> true. That's how it happens. Amazing. Yeah. It's just like, hey, like I, I don't... figured out, like, I Big Bird or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. I'm just going to use my hand. <laughs> if you want to see our horrible acting a long time ago, look on my channel, mm-hmm. uh, my personal one, Yarbo's, and it has James and me, like, from high school, uh, ten years ago. Those videos are awesome. Plus. We're probably better <laughs> actors in those videos than we are right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I would thought it would be cool, like, one of my ideas for the next time a huge video is to do something that's, like, really, really dramatic, where we have to act and stuff, just to see what would happen. <laughs> Not as, like, a comedy video. Like, it would end up being funny, because we'd, we'd be like, what? Did you get the diagnosis? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, um, a medical show? Uh... This is one I thought of, or uh, since this is a podcast, are there any other podcasts you like that you'd like to tell people about? Hmm, let me... <laughs> I have none. Uh, let's just say, if Adventure Time has one, I'll 
find it. Pendleton Ward? Pendleton there probably Ward. is one. There probably is. Maybe I should give him some props. He, he has his own website. Maybe you can just like link the website right there. You can't link links. Maybe. It has to be a video. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> We're learning. As we go. All right. Uh, I, the only thing I could think of, this is just something I like to watch. It's the one with uh, Ricky Gervais and Carl Pen- Pilkington. It's called... They have an HBO show called The Ricky Gervais Show, and it's basically just Ricky, who has met this very colorful character, Carl Pinkington, and they like to make fun of how dumb he is, even though I think Ricky Gervais has actually said that he doesn't think that Carl is a dumb person. Is that the Idiot Abroad thing? Yes, that, that's, that's another show that they've, you know, adapted to, like, an actual, you know, television series, but... The Ricky Gervais show is just them animating like cartoons to the audio from the podcast. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's mine. Um, I'm the one that came up with the question because I listen to podcasts like all the time. Uh, He's really cool. Cool as me. <laughs> hang out by myself and listen to podcasts all the time. <laughs> That's totally true, actually. Uh, but I like. Like Breaking Bad, there's like a bunch of Breaking Bad podcasts. I was gonna say if Breaking Good people are watching this, hey, I don't know if they are, but uh, they follow me on Twitter because I talk about Breaking Bad so much. I hope they watch this. Hi. <laughs> uh, this American Life is like oh yeah, that's really a really good, good one. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> BJ's never listened to it apparently. Uh, uh, I listen to the How Stuff Works podcast a lot. I think that's really cool. I listen to one that was about how like humor works or laughter or whatever. I was going to tell these guys about it because it was pretty interesting. Uh, there's a lot of good music podcasts like Sound Opinions. Uh, there's a lot of good TV writing podcasts. There's a new one. It's like Nerdist um, TV writing podcast that they've only had five so far, but they... They they're really good. They had like Damon Lindelof on one, and like Dan Harmon was on one, and uh, they always have really cool writers. I've noticed. I like listening to stuff like that where it's like people talking about how they make how they make uh, <laughs> videos. That's why I probably am into making videos like this, like the one you're watching right now. Uh, Podcasts. Is there, is there, <laughs> BJ, you need to listen to more. Uh, I know. I'm a. s I am make fun of stuff I don't understand. It's a. It's a character flaw. Um, I'm trying to help him get <laughs> more into it. I'm sure it's awesome. I just. He's also a racist too. So. Yeah. It's part of it. That guy over there. I have. I have. I have kids. And. Uh, <laughs> you have. You have cold. one and a half kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can see how that would uh, change your schedule a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey, let me listen to this podcast Dora, while you, while you Dora, watch Dora. And she'll Dora. grab my computer and throw it. <laughs> Dora, no, Dora. <laughs> um, is there anything else you'd like to communicate to the world right now before this video podcast is over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, James is not wearing pants. <laughs> yep. Those oh. are pants. That's a blanket. <laughs> and it's very it's making us uncomfortable as you can tell we're He didn't want to put pants on so he chose to sit down low. Um, <laughs> this is like forty two minutes almost. Um I'd say just I I think anybody who's interacted with us, uh it, it just gives us all a kick of like like to see that people are at least watching it and uh, giving any type of feedback, even the laced expletives of "you guys suck," uh, I I like that because that means like they at least had an impression of some sort. They had a reaction. They noticed the yeah. yeah we're we're <laughs> attention hungry yeah. and starved. And we're just you know want <laughs> no. It's just we're completely desperate for. We, we are actually kind of. We we're doing this for just create to create things that that just pop up like instead of just being like hey 
like you guys probably do this yourselves like hey what, what would happen if you you know this funny scenario happened and that's what we've been doing our whole lives it's like what, what if this happened <laughs> you know like this person fell out of the sky and it was him uh, like the thing that James was talking about like <laughs> the whole Arnold popping in the spoiler alert um, you know that week of just creating something producing it uh tightening the screws and things like that uh it, it just it's fun to know that people you know look at it something you create and i guess that's the whole point of being an artist of some sort and i guess that's what we can call ourselves is you know writers or artists in some sense and oh yeah, yeah. editors and uh, directors it matters who you ask <laughs> well uh i think part of art is to be viewed and uh, I, maybe I'm upgrading this terminology to art. Maybe it's not art. Maybe it's just like cool stuff. Uh, we we enjoy it whenever people have a response, and so we appreciate anybody that responds. I would just say that if anyone's watching this is feeling held back from something that they really want to do, I would just say go for it. You know. I mean, even if it's just a whole you know, hobby, you know, that you like, oh, I, I really think I'd like to take up painting, then you should do it. And, so paint. Yeah, or something, anything like that. Like, uh, like, the notebook. If you want to learn how to play guitar, like Jeff, do that. I mean, it's it's not a waste of time. I mean, you you might not be good at it at first, but eventually, you know, you could become the best at it. So, go for it. And I think we're really lucky in our group because we, we do have really a, a, a group that has a lot of different talents like uh, artistically, um, writing, musically, uh, just tech, um, you know, delivery, um, organizationally. It's just I think that we have a lot of potential. Organizationally. Organizationally. That's, <laughs> that's me. Yeah. I'm an organizer. Hey, D. <laughs> I'm organizationally good. That's organization there. Um, anything you have, Jeff? Yeah, it's kind of a mix of what all y'all said. Cause I, I'm coming at this from doing a like solo musician thing for a while, and like, I'm not. I I can do it to a certain point, and it's just, it, I'm a very introverted kind of person, and I don't. I could sit by myself and work on songs and recordings, like, <laughs> infinitely. Uh, but I don't always... Sometimes I'm not good at promoting it or pushing it. And it's been cool to get to collaborate with these guys on um, just kind of pushing it out there and trying to get more more people... Put it more in a place where people can actually hear it and listen to it. And um, it's better. it's comforting to be, like, on a team of people who are all trying to help each other to where you don't... Like, I remember when we first made the first video or something, I just remember being like, wow, somebody other than me is doing something with something I wrote, and, like, it was so, like, encouraging, because I was like, I can just sit here and I don't have to worry about it and get stressed out about it. Was that looking for love? I don't know. Maybe Donnie Wombat? Maybe that was it. Or was it Quick Splits? I think it was Quick... I'm thinking about Quick Splits, but it might have been another one. It was just like having... Somebody else is somewhere working on the stuff that I work on a lot, and I can just relax for a little while, and I don't have to think, be always thinking of all the different things I can do to make it work. And that's... It's just... That's good. But also, uh, what James was saying is like... I feel like underneath all that we're doing in the spirit of what we're doing is it's just about deciding that you can if you want to be creative that it doesn't matter if you live like in Hollywood or New York or whatever like we just live in Texas somewhere in Texas did we, we already said we're maximum there. huge yeah. Texas right and it's not this huge isn't Hugeville or maximum huge Hill. we live in maximum huge land <laughs> but it's not there's not a lot I don't know a lot of people who make videos and stuff, so it's kind of like a thing where we're like, let's just do this from here, and uh, and then instead yeah. of just being discouraged about 
wanting to do this stuff and it's there it's an outlet so it's cool I don't know. yeah I mean I think we all enjoy doing it we all get a kick out of it we all think it's fun so it's better than not doing it and yeah. some of our stuff sucks we aren't gonna we aren't gonna defend it like like my finger break dancing thing I mean really like just look at that b-girl stuff I just I was ashamed but like but like some of it's not that awesome but we're we're just we have fun with it so yeah especially like the farther you go back the worse they get <laughs> my free healing yeah and like the first spoiler <laughs> alert we ever did it was just like hey I have an idea for a thing we should do and then you're like let's do it right now and I'm like, okay and then it just we're just sitting in BJ's in front of BJ's computer and that was the first spoiler alert so <laughs> I just want to say if you watched all this thank you for watching and um, really the hope of this whole thing is that it'll inspire people to you know do, like James was saying like do what do what's in your heart. <laughs> I I just want a bunch of attention and friends, so... And if you want to give us money, we'll, yeah, there's probably I, a way you can do that. But say, I, I don't care about expiring people, I just want money. <laughs> expiring them? Killing in, them? In, no, it's <laughs> inspiring with an I-N. <laughs> Expired. And also, uh, we were, like we were saying, we were going to make a video today, like a, a funny video, whatever, and we decided to do this because <clears throat> we were all kind of tired and... Because it's Labor Day, and yeah. this is us kind of taking the day off. Yeah. So we want to also want to say uh, Happy Labor Day to everybody. Yay! And I don't know. We did it. That's Perfect. all I have. Like.